Trina Mount by Trina Solar offers the industry's fastest and least expensive way to install ballasted commercial rooftop PV arrays. Trina Mount by Trina Solar eliminates the need for mounting rails, requires very few parts, and simultaneously accomplishes structural and grounding connections. This video introduces Trina Mount 3 for flat roofs and illustrates its method of installation. Trina Mount 3 utilizes ZEP compatible Trina Solar PV modules that are manufactured with ZEP Solar's innovative groove frame design. Visit trinasolar.com for further information. Trina Solar's PV modules are designed to receive Trina Mount 3 hardware that locks into the grooves. One of the chief benefits of Trina Mount 3 is the ultra low parts count and the elimination of separate fasteners such as nuts, bolts, and washers. Trina Mount 3 includes the row connector, the ballast pan, the front leg, the rear leg, the diffuser support, the wind diffuser, and the ground connector. The front leg contains a special geometry designed to mate with the groove, and the rear legs contain connectors which are subcomponents that lock into the groove and provide the structural and grounding connections. Each connector has a key side and a tongue side. Once the PV array mounting area has been established, lines are marked in the nominal east-west dimension, marking the line to which the front legs will be set. The row connector locations are then marked at an east-west spacing of module width plus one half inch, and the row connectors are laid out at their approximate locations. Next, the ballast pans are set on top of each row connector, and ballast blocks are laid in the ballast pans along the front row. Then front legs are installed along the front row line. The front leg is installed by inserting it at an angle, sliding it into place, and clicking it downward. After the front legs are installed, the first module is dropped into place by setting the groove of the PV module onto the front leg at a greater than 15 degree angle and rotating downward. Next, the first rear leg is installed by inserting its key into the groove of the module and rotating the leg downward into position. Once installed, the rear leg is snapped onto the row connector. After the second module is dropped into position, the second rear leg is installed at the module seam by sliding the key and tongue sides of the leg into the grooves of both modules at an angle such that the key is oriented parallel to the groove. Then the leg is rotated downward and snapped onto the row connector. This is repeated for subsequent modules along the front row. At the end of the row, a ground connector is installed in order to receive an equipment grounding conductor. Next, the diffuser support is installed by rotating it downward into the groove. Once the diffuser support is in place, the ballast pan is connected to the diffuser support by inserting the tabs on the diffuser support into the slots on the ballast pan. Then the ballast pan is set in place. This is then repeated at each module seam and at the end of the row. Ballast blocks are then set into each ballast pan. The first wind diffuser is then installed by lining its slots up with the slots on the diffuser support and then inserting the spring clips to mate the components. This is then repeated along the rest of the row. This process is then repeated for subsequent rows. For more information about Trina Mount 3 for flat roofs and other Trina Mount solutions, visit trinasolar.com.